hey you welcome and here in this video i am going to take you through the exact process on how to design this amazing flyer you're seeing right here in photoshop so let's get started i am using an a4 worksheet just as you're seeing but from here i am going to create a gradient color to fill the worksheet so all i'm going to do is to set up the gradient fill so i took a red out gradient fill and I've already set up the color so this is the color combination I went with and this was awesome okay it brought out the amazing colors you're seeing on the flyer so from there I actually came out with this um, nice texture from Pinterest okay so I downloaded it from Pinterest and this is it just as you're seeing it so I made it fit to the page and this is way cool from there i give it a gaussian blur of about um some pixels where um it will be that blur not all that blurry this is cool so about 15 pixels i picked and this is giving me the effect from there i chose the blend mode that will blend which is overlay so overlay was giving me this kind of vibe that uh, i like so much it was blending nicely into the background so from there i made sure to brush off some parts so i gave it a layer mask and took my brush too as usual as you already know so this is the step so all i'm doing is to clear the light in the middle so i'm going to just clear it out by just brushing it off so just as you're seeing it so let me show you the before and the after so that is it just that just to clear the light from that um, portion so from there i made a duplicate you can also make a duplicate with ctrl plus j and place the duplicated one on a uh, multiply and just to make it dark okay um just to give it this kind of vibe and if you think it is too deep you just reduce opacity just as i have done and i reduce it to 45 and we are good so i brought in this image which is also from pinterest and this is giving a kind of vibe that i love so from there i just wanted it bled out okay i just wanted everything bled out just to make it not realistic like you can't see it clearly like that so i bled it out a little bit and made it pop out with the screen blend mode just as you are seeing it from there i give it a layer mask and the uses of the layer mask is to just clear off some parts with a brush too okay just as you are seeing it i am just clearing off okay the portion i do not want and i just wanted the light effect to be in the center of the page okay just as you are seeing it on the page so this is kind of more of it so this is it i just made a duplicate to make it shine brighter and that is it so i brought in this image just as you are seeing on the page i made sure it is fitted to the page okay the colors of the page from there um that is it just making the arrangements well just to get the spots i need okay and this is way cool okay guys so from there i just made a blur effect okay which is the gaussian blur i just made sure it is blurry not other clear okay just as i said earlier on i do not want anything coming out clear like that okay from there i chose a blend mode that will make it cool on the page and i went with screen blend mode and that was awesome to use and from there i am clearing some parts from um the page where i do not need okay which is around the top and the bottom side of the image which is some which is the engine image right there just as you are seeing it so this is pretty easy just as you are seeing it okay guys so i made a duplicate so from there i made a duplicate and on the duplicated one i just cleared the blur effect from there i just cleared everything out of it so right now there is no image so all i'm going to do is to change the foreground color to white just to bring back some effect or some parts of the image onto okay the duplicated one okay so this onto the one actually we duplicated from okay so this is what you are seeing okay just that so if you think the highlight is too much you just reduce opacity on the image and we are good to go so from there i put in this sun uh let me say sun image and then i place the blend mode on screen just to pop it out like this so 
this is way cool from there we don't like the edges showing around it so i just created um, a layer mask and brush around it so you brush with a black foreground color and just to remove the sharpness okay on the edges just just that uh, good to go okay guys so this is pretty easy and let's move on so this is more of the background and what i'm going to do is to select all and i've already done it so and just group it with Ctrl plus G or the group icon down below okay guys so that is it from there I'm just adding the man of God this is a speed art because we do not want to waste time and it is a usual uh, thing we something we always do and I do not want us to waste time so if you don't know how to do this I'll put a link on the card up there just so that you follow and go and practice on the video that is in there okay it will take you through how you can do this step by step but this is just the arrangement of the man of god and then the brushing so that they blend into the color their background and the effect on their faces that is it guys that's it so from there all i'm going to do is to create some light effect on their head okay so what i'm going to do is create a solid color just as you're seeing it and i place it on um, screen plain mode from there i invented the layer mask okay you can use it you can invent layer mask with ctrl plus i and you're good to go so from there you just um, take your brush to and uh, take the foreground color white and uh, brush the light okay proportionally where um, the lights actually are hitting the man of god or where you think um there should be lights on the man of god okay so this is what i did and it gave me some awesome result just as you're seeing and um i liked it a lot and i don't know about you but i really liked it on the flyer i made okay guys um this is it i'm just brushing on the edges okay uh, just at the head side okay just so that it feels like the light rays are hitting on that part of uh, the man the man's uh, image right there or the model's image so i applied the same um effect onto um the two men of god so that um they feel um lighted up okay they feel that there was some sun right behind them like that so this gave us that vibe so from there i added some curves okay so the curves layer and then uh, i just invented the uh, layer mask and i applied the same brush um, brushing around the head side when we added the solid color effects okay so this is pretty easy all right guys so just that and i brought in this chain um image right here it's a png so i just brought it in just to spice things up just to feel more details on the flyer and this is way cool so this is right there which is the chain from there i just want it bled out because i said earlier on that we're going to blur i'm going to blur every um almost everything on the air this flyer okay so i just bled it out a little bit from there um, i really don't like how it is looking so i just create the effect myself i just created a level just as you're seeing it so this is the level i have created from there i'll just take the layer mask and invent it so i can create uh, my own brushing on it just as you're seeing it so i applied i applied sorry i applied a um, level curves and hue and saturation on this chain just to blend it into um, the color of the background so this is what you are seeing all right guys so from there i brought in the same chain but then i did not want to confuse anyone so all i'm doing is to just position it right there at the left corner there right as you're seeing it okay so i'm going to apply the same effect onto this so all i'm going to do is just duplicate it and just clip mask it onto this we have just made so just as you're seeing it all right guys so i have to make make some changes too so that the bottom will become darker just as you're seeing it so i just, I just stood on the um, levels um, layer mask and brought back some darkness at the bottom okay of the chain right there just as you're seeing me work on so this is pretty 
easy okay guys so uh, after brushing and you think it is too deep you just reduce opacity and you're good to go okay um, there's no cause for alarm okay guys so this is it so from there I gave it a motion blur just to make it feel um, blurred in a motion way just to feel as if it is moving just like that so just as the name sounds motion blur okay guys so that is awesome so so I just continue so uh, actually this comprises of the background so I do not know either to add it to the background or not but then it's not the background because it is on top of the menu code so the menu code layer is different and the change layer too is also different so I just group the two together which is the menu code in the chain like that all right guys so let's box on so from here what I'm going to do is to create some darkness at the bottom of the page so I just sampled color from the page okay a deep color from the page and I'm going to brush on with it okay so just as you're seeing I've already created my new layer so I'm going to go with um, the flow all right guys so this is it just as you are seeing it so I'm brushing on top of the chain image just so that um, it, it feels uh, captured within the deep color I am brushing on so this is way cool and it is giving me the vibe I want and it's also creating a portion where I can add my text smoothly okay this is way cool okay just as you are seeing it so what I'm doing right now is to just um, clear that bottom of the chain image right there just as you have seen it because it is feeling too deep and distracting to the deep color we are brushing over so this is something to just cater for the brushing over of the deep color okay so this is way cool so i'm going to brush at the top okay because we want everything enclosed in a deep color okay so it feels like the light is actually coming from within and around it we have darkness okay just like that all right guys so this is giving a cool vibe so everywhere there is light i mean there's supposed to be some particles so i brought in this uh, particle image and i just blend it out a little bit there actually there was no need but um you just need to blend it out just so that it doesn't look sharp okay so this is it i have brought it and then i just created a layer mask and invented the layer mask from there i can brush with a foreground color white just so that um, i brush back from where i want the particles to be so i want it around the sun and where the lights are so just as you're seeing it not on the menu code actually and somewhere below um, the page at the bottom like that just on the So this is awesome this is really really awesome i like it a lot just as you're seeing it so i'm just clearing the man of god just in case we brush mistakenly on them so it just remove um every mistake we just did with a black foreground color okay so that is way cool all right guys so with that being said i just brought in this um golden text i created okay since this um tutorial is not about um how to make this test i'll reserve that for a future video all right guys so let's proceed i am adding the details um in a speed art form just so that we don't waste much time okay so this is it i've already created them so I just saved them as png for this video sake okay just so that we go smoothly all right guys so this is it just as you're saying it so this are the arrangements of the details okay it includes the church name which is simply the head of boat okay and um, the team and the title and all that the date and all, all all of that okay so let's proceed so this is just the speed out of it all right guys so and sometimes i think if you're designing you should be more um dependent okay i mean that is to the pros okay if you're a beginner you just have to learn from um a source or some inspirational um, source okay you just have to learn from them or um until you become a pro okay so 
if you're a pro i just want to let you know you should be independent of creating flyers from your own creative mind okay this helps you build upon your creativity although you're a pro but it just advance you seriously it does so i just uh, feel like spreading this um, advice and should i say it to be a motivation encouragement this is an advice so i'm advising all right guys so this is cool okay guys and in the arrangement of the details i just want everyone each and every one of you you listening to me should take note that if you are arranging the details you should be more specific with the alignment whichever alignment you are using just go with it okay if you are using a slanted format just make sure every text you are using is going to be slanted don't slant one and feel like the other should be straight nope just go with a particular alignment unless there is the need to um, change the alignment but if you go with a straight or vertical alignment i mean where you are going to arrange every details in a vertical form just do it like that if you're going to arrange every detail in a slanted form or a curved form whatever way you want to arrange it just go with that direction meaning it includes the date time and the everything whichever way whichever side you're going to position them just make sure they are going in the same alignment or direction this makes you come out professional and cool okay so this is really cool when you do it so i'm just enlarging my church name out there it feels small it felt small up there okay it wasn't that um bold i mean as small as it was it wasn't showing well so i just made it a little big okay by enlarging it so this is pretty easy and just as you're seeing it okay guys so let's box on from there i took my pen too because i mostly create this um uh, shape so which is ascent shapes okay the ascent shape with uh, the pen too okay it's easy to create with so i create one not here one not there and just tilt it and just create it this is just easy so this is the after effect or after shape okay that is when you have actually come out with the actual design the actual flyer okay when you are done with it then you, are, you can go on with the shape okay all right guys so from there you press control shift control shift alt plus e okay to bring out the overview of the entire uh, flyer okay so from there i just create this lightning effect on the actual image just as you're about to see and give it some uh, lightning effect more light to um, just enhance the colors in the camera raw filter just as you're seeing it okay so this is how i created this flyer and it is easy as you're seeing it okay guys so um Thank you for clicking to watch this video and I appreciate it a lot. See you next time in my future videos. Bye bye. I love you. This is Simplicity Kato Boot.